configure embedded event manager on Cisco iOS. Of course, I got this from cisco.com and this is the link. And I'm gonna, as always, gonna add the, all the links in the description under resources. Embedded event manager policies. So this is how you, and there's actually two types of embedded event manager policies, but let me read the whole thing here. Um, EEM offers the ability to monitor events and take informational or corrective action when the monitored events occur or a threshold is reached. An EEM <clears throat> policy is an ent entity that defines an event and the actions to be taken when that event occurs. There are two types of EEM policies, an amplet or a script. An amplet an amplet is a simple form of policy that is defined within the CLI configuration. Amplet is what I'm going to do in this video. And a script is a form of policy that is written in tool command language or TCL. <clears throat> so this is, um, the configuration is not that hard actually. Yeah. Let me show you a example here on in uh, the Cisco document, if I can find it here. So of course there are also um, EEM environment variables. I'm not gonna really <clears throat> discuss this in detail, but uh, just wanna show, I just wanna mention it. So, yeah, so EEM environment variables for EEM policies are defined using the EEM event manager environment configuration command. By convention, oops, all Cisco EEM environment variables begin with underscore, underscore, in order to avoid future conflict. Customers are urged not to define new variables that start with underscore. You can um, display the EEM environment variables set in your system by using the show event manager environment privilege exec command. For example, you can create EEM policies that can send emails when an event occurs. The table below describes the email specific environment variables that can be used in EEM policies. Yeah. Um, and in this, uh, in this, uh, example actually they are showing us that you can you can follow this uh, syntax but yeah let me see yeah so this is how you as i just uh, discussed this is how you check the uh all the, what was that again? Yeah, show event manager environment. So display the name and value of environment, EEM environment variables. So that's this. And I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna jump here. So event manager amplet, applet. Did I say amplet? Uh, it should be applet. So this is the name of the applet. And let me go back here to my example. I'm gonna go to the, this by the way, the uh, topology that I'm going to use in this video. I just, uh, just have R1 and R2 and they have, connectivity to each other, uh, between each other. So the IP address, yeah, so R1 can, should ping, should be able to ping R2, which is, this is the IP address of R2. Yeah, 
So going back to the configuration. So config, go into the global configuration mode. And I'm just going to follow this actually. I mean, copy and paste. And this is the name of the applet. And second step is um, going to say event syslog pattern. And this is the pattern when uh, this is actually the uh, syslog message when someone shut, shuts down gig zero slash zero. So that is, you know, this interface here. Mm. The interface where R2 is connected to. And then just enter. And next is, yeah, you are uh, going to define the action, and this is uh, be this is processed sequentially. So that's why if you see here, enable config term, and I go to the interface configuration, into the interface configuration, and I say no shut, and save so let's try if it will work so i'm going to shut down this interface and let me hold on let me actually do a debug debug so i'm going to shut down that interface shut down so the script will actually uh, no shut the interface. So let's give it a minute. Oh, I did it on the wrong interface. Oh, that's fine. I did it on I did it on R two. I'm I was. <laughs> I was I, I thought that I was doing it on R1, but that's fine. Um, so we see here that the script actually ran, and see here config term, which is the this is the command here, and it went into this interface and it. Uh, issued no no shut and if we go and check that interface again it shows it's showing up again um, yeah I, uh, let me actually go ahead and do it on R1 as well so go ahead and copy paste it, the config Okay, so same interface, so that's fine. So, okay, I'm going to shut down. Oops. And hold on, let me issue this debug. Gonna say shut down. And of course, this is this is how you verify, yeah, the the EEM policies that you have on the device. Let's just give it a minute. Oh, yeah, it ran already. So let's see. Now it's up again. So that's how you can configure embedded event manager 
or EEM on Cisco iOS.